All right, we're still here at the Paddle Sports Show in Lyon talking about kayak fishing, which, like most things, is more fun with friends. I'm currently at Hobie, the Hobie booth, checking out their new Mirage Fiesta. No, it's called Fiesta for a reason, it's a party boat. Yeah, you take your four friends or three friends and you go out fishing or having a great time taking cooler with beers or any other cool beverages. And <laughs> There's definitely space for at least one cooler, maybe two. Can you show me in the, I think this is the Mirage Drive. So ST Fins regular drive. Yeah, it has kick up, uh, the kick up function says you hit, you hit something underwater. That will kick up, so you're pretty safe here. So remember, use responsibly even if the fins will kick up if you hit something underwater. So good to kick back, relax, and go fishing. I'm here at RTM or Roto Mode with their new Hero Impulse Drive, a sit on top kayak for one person. I don't think you're supposed to use your hands. Where do you think you can use it? If you guess the sea, you would be correct. If you guess the river, you would be correct. If you guess the lake, ding, 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 you win. If you guess whitewater, it's possible, but just be careful. Um, this thing has got really good stability, good speed, it's maneuverable, and it tracks really well, so you can keep your focus on the fish. So for people that don't have the strength to lift one of the heavier fishing kayaks or the space to store one, you've also got options like SUPS and inflatable, either stand-up paddle boards or inflatable kayaks that are specifically designed for whitewater fishing. So like this Drift 1010 from Aqua Marina, made here in France. Uh, rod holders. We've got a spot to potentially attach a seat if you want to sit rather than stand. Um, we've also got kind of that, again, like catamaran style design. So one thing that Aqua Marina does really well is you've got these different chambers that are inflatable on their own for safety. So if one has an issue, which it shouldn't because it's made from drop stitch, um, so it is super strong, but it does mean that you've got the safety of having the two other chambers. So each one inflates separately. And this gives you a little bit more stability and also kind of creates that stable platform underneath. So live bait hold, which actually takes the water from the ocean, right? it oxygenates the water and then kind of recycles it. So make sure that you've got fresh oxygen oxygenated water to keep your bait alive and happy so you can get more fish. If you guys may remember the rainbow hard belly, this is the perfect floating craft for those that want to sit, lounge, paddle, steer, fish, lay back, relax, do what you want. This is like a lounge chair, an easy chair for the Oh, whoa. Forward and reverse pedal drive, powered by my feet. All right, we're at the Roto Ativo booth, checking out their Delmatic 270. So you've got your super simple setup here with a rod holder, um, really kind of pared bound, back to basics, space in the back, bungee cords. Uh, for all of your tackle and kit, even more rod holders here, extra style stuff. So yeah, love this, super simple for the, maybe more of like an entry level person or someone that just wants to get out, have fun without all the bells and whistles and just have a good time. So it's easy to focus on the big parts of the equipment, like the actual kayak, but what it actually comes down to that makes the difference a lot of the time is those small little details. So we're stoked to see companies here like Kayak Gear uh, that actually make all of the different parts and components that other companies can purchase to help outfit their kayaks to get the exact specs that they want. So everything from like your rod holder extenders, to your rod holders, to the flush caps. Um, all of these little pieces and details are have to be made by someone somewhere. And so it's really cool that everyone can kind of come here at Paddle Sports Show and meet and see and find what they need to make their next products and keep innovation going. So we're at the Feel Free Aquarius Rebel and Sea Stream booth, checking out the new for 2021 Sea Stream Angler 120 PD. But you've also got really good base entry level models that are pretty tough, pretty durable. They don't have to be super heavy, but it's still got all the basic features you could need. Your rail track system, they've got your pedal drive system so you can have that hands-free fishing experience. They've got the comfortable seats, but it's got maybe a little bit less of the bells and whistles, less of the electronic parts, less things to break. So it's durable, it's affordable. Um, so anyone can kind of get one of these and hopefully get out on the water. Okay, well how do you, how, show me how to cast. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like this. No, that was a little bit down. <laughs> Let's try again. Like this. Hey, I think I'm getting it. One more. Yeah. And then what do you do when you catch it? <laughs> That's just a taste of what's new and cool in fishing and what products there are to come for 2022. For more information, excuse me, for more information and product specs, be sure to check back on our website, paddlerguide.com or follow along on our Instagram where we'll be updating you with more information.